Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and welcome to Chrono Cross. Today we will make a decision on how we are going to go to Viper Manor. I, I did give it a lot of thought, but in the end I already made a decision right straight from the get-go. I thought to myself, you know what, I'm just gonna stick to it. Because if you want all characters you need to play th the game at least three times. So we're, we're not gonna get all of them. So. We're just gonna pick the ones that I find visually and from the idea of it most interesting. So we're not gonna go with Pierre, we're not gonna go with Guile and Korcha, we're gonna go with uh, Mickey and Nikki. I think those were two names. Because why not? They are rock and roll stars. The concept of that alone was enough for me uh, to um, pick those. And of course the way that she looks and what we've seen how the other looks from the poster is going to be really interesting. So now we need to talk to her and say, hey, you know what? We're going to do it. Because this one here on the table, I think that's the uh, other character. And I think if we get those two, it will be very interesting. And of course, a secondary reason for picking that one is because it's the only one of the three that we need to go through another level in order to get to Viper Manor. So potentially more enemies, more potential materials. So yeah, like I said, it was uh, in the end a really easy choice for me. Hello. Have you changed your mind? Okay, let's do it. Really? Oh, you're a lifesaver. Okay, let's start moving. All right. So we're gonna go straight to it because we did talk to everyone in Termina over the last uh, one and a half episodes. That's how big the entire place actually is. And we did whatever we could. So we gave the bellflower uh, to Glenn so he could honor Dario who's buried here in uh, Termina. We talked to everyone even, I don't know if it's the mother or the grandmother of Skelly. So yeah, like I said, we've unlocked multiple different parts to potentially other characters, I think. And I can, def after thinking about it, I can 100% confirm that the Glen we saw in this game is not the Glen from Chrono Trigger. I think it's more like a nod uh, to the character, because it has an armor, it has the same name, it has the same type of feel to, to it like a uh, frog, but it isn't. I think like that that's what it actually is. So it's not the actual character. It's more like a nod like, remember him? This could be him. It isn't though. And I think the main reason for it is because we learned in Term 9 in the last episode that Glenn grew up with Dario in the orphanage. And having grown up there, it cannot possibly be Frog because he's from the Middle Ages. Maybe a very much distant descendant at best. <laughs> And the guards are no more. I'm hoping that these guards will now stay away forever so we have every opportunity to go here and fight all the monsters that we want for their resources. But the two resources I'm looking for mostly is gonna be uh, copper and iron. Because it will increase uh, our uh, attack capabilities by a lot. So we should definitely want those. Bob A and Bob B. Oh, they look different. One has a more pointier hat than the other. Oh, maybe that's a sign that he's almost gone. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's build for you as well. Because I'm really curious to see what the bosses might uh, give us. Because we have only one chance to use Pilfer. And I don't know if it's a 100% guaranteed uh, hit. But if we are lucky and we get some really prime elements from the boss that way, that would be fantastic. Cure, yes, seeds. Logical, <laughs> getting that from plants. 
Can we attack you too? No, you're just very weird and touchable, squeaky. <laughs> okay, there's nothing we can work through. Ah, so many enemies. Yeah, I and mean, we are gonna fight a few just because I want to have like a decent stash of the items. Even though I cannot see how you would use seeds and weapons or something. Unless you're gonna make it like a pea shooter. I'm sure the game will uh, find a way. Let's do the K9 ball. Yeah, I really should try to utilize the elements a lot more in combat just to make them pass faster. Because they can do some really serious damage. Like right now, I'm trying to go with Kit and use the Magma Ball that attack both enemies. But it should do some really nice damage. See, one gone, one almost totally destroyed. And since we know that these fights will not be very long, it's the easiest way to get through them. Boss combat, however, there you need to be a little bit more thoughtful about how you're gonna approach the situation. Arrow Saucer. Alright, probably wind attack. Yeah, we're gonna just. Uh... <gasps> Nikki? What's he doing? Listen to my song. Sweet sister of mine. Oh god, he's he's modeled after Axel Rose, isn't it? <laughs> this is what this this line reminds me of. But then sweet child of mine instead of sweet sister of mine. Ah damn it, it's hopeless. Is it me or is he just looking for a muse or something? <gasps> Ah, so that's what the bubbles were, a potential enemy attack. Good to know. Hmm. I think we might need to give every single one a group attack in their list. Oh yeah, I want to see Iceland, so I want to see what it does. Straight to the face. Really, everything is missed. It's the second one. We got a orange one, a green one. It has to mean something, right? Can we go here somewhere? Oh, it's just a circle. All right. Is it though? No, it's not. I thought it was going to be a full circle, but just a dead end. And that's fine. Because, like I always say, we always want to explore everything. Just for hidden paths, hidden items, that kind of stuff. If 
Found uplift. Nice. How uplifting. All right, next area. Nikki, can you be a little bit more careful? Is that gonna be a boss fight? Oh, I can use a new star. I maxed out everyone so far. Oh, I can't fend them off alone. He, has, he even has a guitar. Is he gonna use that to attack, or is he has he like personal musical attacks? Oh, I want to see it. <laughs> Hello, can we do something? Or just here looking at him, just to see how strong he is. Dash and slash. Mm, elemental K9. Let's attack another one. I think that one is about to go down. So I don't want to use the, my elements unnecessarily. Good. Let's do a pilfer to see what he can get. And of course, it's how successful so so far. It was always been successful. Stole one ivory mill. Nice. Just, just in case we need one for future characters. <laughs> Good. Let's do another element. Nice beefy photon ray. Good. For sure. So close. Really? And down for the count. And it was a star. Nice. Does mean we need to do a couple of fights just to get uh, as much stats out of it. Really? Not even a thank you? What's with him? I don't know. He's uh, kind of special. I think that's the best way to describe it. Uh, there are red berries growing here. Okay, is that a hint that we get from the plant? Or is that us commenting on it? Okay, what's that? What the hell is this thing? This thing's fast asleep. What do we do now? Ah, maybe we need uh, Nikki in order to play music to wake him up. Un unless we have something very heavy we could use. <laughs> nope, <laughs> we cannot throw the skull. Well, that's a bit too sad. All right, so what I'm gonna do uh, we're gonna go back to the previous screen. I'm gonna have about five to eight fights. Just get all the stats out. And then we'll be back here to continue into the void where Nikki got to. And see if we can find him. Alright, I've tried to ring out as many stat points as I could, but in the end it was just a big old stat increase after the fight and two fights with one HP. 
and that's it. I, I did about 10 fights afterwards and I didn't get any more, which is so different than what I've been told on how this is supposed to work, but yeah. There are green berries growing here. Okay. Oh, that, it has to mean something, right? There are blueberries growing here. I'm sure we'll get a hint later on. Oh, it's you. What's this? Nice attitude, freak. We saved your life. You could at least thank us. You're off to Viper Manor, right? Take me with you. Who the bloody hell are you? Hmm? I think I recognize you from a poster in Termina. And what business do you have in Viper Manor? I believe my sister's in there. Your sister? Anyway, I'll let you in on a secret if you let me in join your party. How about it? Hell yeah. <laughs> Rockin'. Nikki joined your band. I'm the rocking bard Nikki. How about a song? Maybe later. <laughs> oh. Fine. Alright, so what's this secret you want to tell us? In order to get inside Viper Manor, you have to go through the water vein further up. But there's a monster blocking the way. In order to move it, you have to feed it one of the monsters in the forest. I wasn't quite sure how to lure one to it, but I found this notebook. It says to lure the monster with their favorite food. Favorite food? It's probably talking about the plant life growing in this forest. The plants are attracted to a certain aroma and then emit their pollen. There are a total of three monsters in all, each of which has its own preference in food. I'll be staying uh, by the port in Termina. Call on me anytime. Well, that's that. And now for a song. Alright, let's get going. Hey, wait for me! Hmm... I'm s Lina, I'm sorry. I'm curious. <laughs> I want to see how he fights. Can I get in there? I do want to check its elements though. Probably has to give him a lot. Uh, throw blades of razor sharp air to uh, foes. Yeah, we don't even have a healing uh, one for him. Yeah, all right. let's just give him some uh, random stuff. It's fine. Corpium. Bushwhacker and Bush Basher. Yeah, it's just uh, so he has uh, stuff in his list. Oh, it's a level 3 skills. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Alright, now let's see what your equipment is. A bone pick, ivory mail, no accessories because we don't have any anymore. Uh, I think we're going to have him for a couple of fights and hopefully we'll come across a save point that we can exchange him. But for now it will work. Hey, search found aroma pouch. 
There's an old notebook. Read it. In order to wake up the monster blocking the path, use an aroma pouch and check all the plant life. Some of the plants will be attracted to the aroma. There are monsters in the forest that eat the pollen given off by these plants. Use the pollen to lure these monsters to the monster blocking the path. Once you wake it up, all you have to do is defeat it. But in my case, it defeated me. I leave this helpful note for anyone who wishes to get through. Mixed among the pile of bones is one bone different from the rest. Yes, it might be Skelly's. Angry's Capilla. Oh, that's right. I was always pissed off about something. I think I was angry at myself for having no talent. Everyone would just laugh at me or mock me. I hated myself. I'm sure you ain't interested, but uh, let's just get going. Alright, so we're slowly piecing uh, Skelly back together again. So do we need to equip it as an accessory, maybe? No, so it's just an item we can use regardless. All right. So I'm guessing the color of the monster we have needs to be combined with the color of the seeds. So I think that one was blue. Will you move? Yes. He's not very fast, is he? <laughs> Close enough. Are we cruel? Maybe. <laughs> but oh, it's it's awake. Ah, we have to defeat this thing to get through. Okay, so we only had to do one. Ah, oh, nice. Or, or did we just accidentally pick the right one of all three? Let's do a dash and slash. Might also want to use Pilfer just to see what he has. Oh, so it can miss. <laughs> and the sad thing is, we can only do it once per fight. So if you miss it on a boss, it's it's just gone. <laughs> uh, no, let's go to Nikki. <laughs> uh, he's not very strong, but he does have a nice attack, though. No, don't heal yourself. Ah, so that's why he healed himself, because it was almost dead. Let's make it a completely dead. All 
Alright, so not a boss fight, because we didn't get a star level, it's actually not that bad. So that way Nikki can still uh, just take advantage of uh, the star we got before him. Good. Ah, uh, more chests. Uh-oh. Oh man. This path leads to Viper Manor. Whatever your business may be, I cannot let you through. If I had known, I would have just fought a few more fights. <laughs> this was really quick. I am Zoa, one of the four divas of the Acacia's Dragoons. So, you are Surge. This should be interesting. I shall let you pass if you are able to defeat me. Come. And again, we're going after the two uh, stupid ones first, <laughs> the minions, Salt and Pepper, and then over the main guy, just like we did with Karsh. Oh, it's them again, those tough guys. You said you brought a shakingly awesome element with you, didn't you? I have brilliantly brilliant element this time, Pepper. It's a new summoning element. Ah, sh shaking, it sure sounds good. Well, shake a leg, hurry up and use it on these smart Alex. Affirmatively, affirmative. Here I go, Pepper. Hmm? Nothing happened. I wonder what went wrong. <gasps> oh, I forgetfully forgot. You can't use a summoning element until all the field effects attributes are the same color. Ah, you metal hat. Oh, well then, hurry up and turn all the field effects attributes to the same color and try again. But Pepper. You can't use the same element twice in the same battle. Any foolish fool knows that. Oh my god, Salt, can't you ever do anything right? Are you two clowns finished with your comedy act yet? I hope so. <laughs> All right. I'm hoping that we'll be fine with only uh, two healings in the entire party, but it should be. Alright, let's use Kit. Just mess a bit with Pepper. Come on, that was unnecessary. No, ooh, almost made the wrong choice. Automatically in my head, I had, oh, I wanna steal. <laughs> I have to remember, we can only steal one, so we need to pick the right one. And uh, no, we gotta go with Nikki, cause Surge is still loading up. Strengthen yourself up. Just uh, abuse uh, your turn because you are going to go down. Alright. Grand finale. Will that be enough? Well, he's hurting at least. Look at his face. He's not a happy camper. Pilfer, because I do want to use it, especially in a fight like this. A knee pad? Ah, oh, gotta be an accessory. So we can give that to Nikki after the fight, that's good. Dragon Rider, his own fight. And a skill. 
That's really cool. I like it. Uh, can we choose what we want? Yes. Because I'm sure we can end it, but I want to make sure that we do take care of our party members. That's really powerful. I gotta remember that one. Five star rating, nice. <laughs> All elements were already used. <laughs> uh, uplift copper, nice and ivory mail. Uh, very well, I shall let you pass. Huh, we shall meet again. He was at least honorable to uphold to his own, uh, let us say, challenge. Ah, search found heal. Perfect. So we can give that to our dear old buddy. And of course he got a new slot as well with the leveled up. Really, really nice. Let's go over the equipment. Because I think knee pad of course, is an accessory. Improved defense. Never a bad thing. Alright, so. I think we're now done with the force. We can go to Viper Manor. I'm very cautious in the, trying to decide whether or not to go into the tree. Because we had two boss fights really close to each other. I don't want to get into another fight without maximizing the levels we have right now. Well, as maximizing as much as we can. Alright, I'm gonna have a few fights and then we're gonna go into the tree and see what's there. I just want to make sure we get all the stats. Alright, having done that, about, what is it, like 10, 15 fights? I think we got all the stats we could get out of there. Now let's see what's behind this tree. What is that on the ceiling? Is it a slime or just random bubbles going around? I did notice one thing though while uh, fighting all those monsters. I think it's going to be really important to pick a main party really quickly. Because it is very clear to me at this point that the party that's with you will defeat the boss it are the members that will get the most stats from the star that we got. Because uh, when I switched to Poshul and Lina, they got one big level and that's it. And even that felt less than it uh, could have been. So I think we should really try to think of what part do we want and maybe like I said before one or two backups and not anything more than that because there's just no point when you just look at it from a stats uh, perspective and I think equipment is gonna mean a lot if you want to switch parties I think search he will always be okay because he's the main character he will probably always be with us but for the rest I, I think it will probably be a really good uh, second one because she has steel which is always very nice to have in any RPG then we'll need to pick uh, which one will be our third and I think after we've done Viper Manor uh, we're gonna decide who that's gonna be and so far Lina and Porsche are the two that looks really well f suited for that role mainly because of their story significance and ability 
And I'm looking to the personal ability they have. Alright, Nikki, let's take the blob out. Humor. Okay, so we have no control over the blobs attacking us. If we get too close, they will just zero in on us. Okay. Good to know. That means that we got to abuse our elements a bit more. But it does grant me a lot more the sense that I really should have an AoE with everyone. Because I think if we all three characters have an AoE attack and we use them, I think 9 out of 10 groups will just be gone. Uh, sir found the magma bomb. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Let's allocate. Yeah, give one to search. Why not? He has the room. All enemies. Let's make it here, all the way up front, and extra powerful. Don't say no to that. All right, let's see if we can get around that. The surrounding areas are really nice to watch, isn't it? Like a really bright color painting. What the hell is that? Is that a zombie or some kind? Yeah, I want to fight it. I want to know what it is. It's a wraith. Well, easily mistaken for a zombie, clearly. Powerful as well. There's an element. A light should work on a wraith. Damn, he's uh, eating it up. Interesting. So yeah, Wraith definitely an enemy we need to steal from on a regular basis. Alright, let's uh, bushwreck him to the other plane of existence. Hopefully he will also give us uh, copper. Because that would mean we would have enough to at least make a weapon. Letter also not a bad thing. Alright. Oh, we're going against stream. Oh, th this is gonna be very annoying, I think. <laughs> Just because of the sheer amount of fights we might potentially need to do.
can we actually just jump off it from the top side? Oh! Oh yeah, th that will definitely help. <laughs> I didn't even th think we could move that. Such an easy solution. Because <laughs> I was thinking, if we, if we only move that slowly, we're gonna be keep on being attacked by the monsters up ahead, and every time we get out of the fight, we'll be pushed back. Uh, thankfully, the game has thought of it. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, hello? Uh, is there a certain place I need to stand in order to get in? Okay, that slime came out of nowhere. None of that matters, we can take care of him. And I think it might be time for us to uh, let search uh, be in this element. gonna come to us we'll just leave it for now we're at the bottom of a well that means Viper Manor's right above us hey mate I say we wait till uh, nightfall might be a wise choice Ooh. That's something really big. What is that? Alright. Can we go back if we want to? We're not going back, are we? Now's our chance. <laughs> We're not allowed to. Look around, it's really dark here. See if we can avoid being attacked by the guards. Uh, search found turn blue. Nice. Oh, it's like a free element or two. Alright, run, 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 run. What they can't see won't detect them. Alright. Okay, animals, please be a little bit quiet. Okay, you know what, what? I think I'm gonna leave the episode here. I see a save point, and uh, I think we've progressed well enough. We went straight through the forest, fought uh, two bosses with star levels, we gained all the stats that we needed, and now we are ready to... I think robbing uh, the place is uh, our goal right now, isn't it? Even though it feels like it should be more than that. But um, we'll see. We're going to try to see if we can find um, Nikki's sister. Because he believes she's here. We're going to try to see if we can find anything of value. And then trying to figure out what's more special about this place. But more importantly, we're going to try not to get caught. Because I feel that might be significant as well but that's gonna be next time until then i wish you all a great night morning day wherever you are and if you're still here don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and be back next time as we try to steal some shit <laughs> bye bye